Hey guys, I'm just showing you now the AI Suite 2 from Asus. Uh, this is on the Sabertooth P67 motherboard. And you'll see there's something a little different with that, and that is the fact that we have the thermal radar. Now if we click on the thermal radar, what it'll do is it'll give us a pop-up of all the um, 12 temperature sensors that we have on the motherboard here. And it'll show you the individual temperatures as well as uh, allow you to customize zones as far as uh, fan speeds and all that good stuff. Okay, now that we have the thermal radar open, we can see the different temperatures in the different areas here, and if you hover over it, it'll actually show you where each temperature sensor is and what its name is. So as you can see, they're all listed right over here, the 12 different sensors. And now we could also click the little fan here, which if you have a uh, assistant fan installed or the CPU fan here what you can do is click on this and then you can go and it'll show you the RPM fan speed and you can actually go into the settings and you can set your own profiles here for your temperatures now there's standard silent turbo and then you can do your own user profiles as well um, and you can basically change the graph as you would like based off the different temperature zones here so if you you know, you know you got a fan in an area, you know something's getting a little hot, and you when that temperature rises, you can just change it to a different zone, and it'll increase the fan speeds. So that's the big change with uh, the the Sabertooth board, and then we also have Turbo Evo, which lets us do on-the-fly voltage changes, B-clock, CPU, DDR. And then we can also change the turbo ratio on the fly right here. Scroll that up and down. As you can see right now, I already have it overclocked. Uh, DigiVRM lets us change all the VRM frequencies on the fly. Right now I have everything set fixed, but uh, you can change the phase controls, the load line, current. You can change frequency. That's one of the nice things about having a digital VRM is in the OS. And then sensor records. If you you know want to record temperatures as you're doing things, you can record temperatures, voltages, all that kind of stuff in a nice graph. And you can actually have a history that you can load up and see the changes over time. For monitors, uh, that just changes this little sidebar here. So what we can do is go from sensors just to see voltages and temps. We can go to the actual frequency, see the multipliers and when the frequency jumps and CPU usages. Update tab here lets us update the BIOS either uh, from the internet, from a file. And there we go. Update BIOS from the internet, download BIOS from the internet, update, save. My logo will actually let you change the boot logo um, from the default ASUS logo to something you may want. I mean, if you want to change it to something different, you can change it to something different. There we go, we get the three different options. Change the BIOS boot logo of my motherboard, change the boot logo of a downloaded BIOS file update, and then change the boot logo of a downloaded BIOS file. And then we have system info, which gives us basically a little readout what we have. Uh, CPU, we've got the processor, cache, and the SPD of our RAM here. Going over settings, the nice thing about the AI suite is if you don't want things, you can take it out. So if I don't want, you know, the sensors, I don't want the Digi VRM, say I just want some monitors, um, I don't want the updates, what do I care if those are there, or even the system info, you can customize this bar so you only have what you need. And you can also change the skins, uh, you can change the colors, so, you know, you can kind of really customize this to how you would like. And this is the AI Suite 2.